Keith Aman is most famous for his Monsters Know What They Are Doing blog and subsequent books, which present combat tactics for various monsters to help DMs create more optimised and logical combat encounters. The fourth book in his series is How to Defend Your Lair, which focuses on dungeon design, and specifically on how monsters can defend their valuable assets from invasion by malicious adventurers. The book is designed to apply to the fifth edition of the most well-known RPG, but a lot of the information can be easily applied to other RPG systems. The first third of the book explores principles of defense, battle strategy, and how to determine the lair assets which are in need of defense. The concepts of detection, deterrence, and response are explained in detail, providing a checklist of what should be incorporated in the defense of a lair. I sometimes overlook the importance of these categories, focusing mainly on response rather than detection and deterrence. It is important that all three of these categories are considered to make lair defense not only stronger, but more realistic. Detection is the important preemptive stage of becoming aware of possible invaders well before they need to be dealt with, using scouts, spies and magic, allowing for defenders to have knowledge not only of the existence of possible invaders, but also their number, abilities and strength. Deterrence can be as simple as placing a no-entry sign on the door, or could be an elaborate trap or guardian that looks extremely intimidating, forcing the invaders to reconsider their ingress. Finally, there is a summary of responses to invasion, expanded on later in the battle strategy and magic sections. You can also use material from the previous Monsters Know What They're Doing books to complement the options given here. Early on, Keith the Man makes the case that the monsters should be protecting their assets, which can be divided into law, lives and loot. Again, most consider the treasure that monsters have to be their most valued assets, but oftentimes forget that information, prisoners, the location itself, and the monsters' lives can often be of more value, and the monsters will set up defences for those items. It would have been nice to see an explicit list of possible assets that monsters may value, perhaps presented in a table for quick generation. Overall, there are lots of aspects to this book which would benefit greatly from bullet point lists or summarizations to be easier to implement in layer design. Though the types of assets are not explicitly listed, there are examples throughout the 16 dungeons later in the book, so one can create a list of possible assets by reading each example layer. The scoring system applied to these assets is as well quite abstract and not particularly consistent, but I think in this case the system is supposed to show that the DM should place some kind of numerical value on the assets so that they can be ranked. This system is slightly complicated by some of these values being artificially inflated to represent the possible value the assets could have for others outside the lair, so the numbering system is a little redundant. The largest portion of this book is dedicated to 16 different layers of various monsters and villains. While the example layers are well thought out and imaginative, the delivery is rather dry. They are much too verbose for use in game and some consolidated notes will be required for use at the table. The maps are very good, but some are a little hard to read due to the scaling or from being over detailed. Despite my reservations about the use of these layers in game, they are intended as examples of how to build a well defended layer yourself, and for that purpose they largely succeed. The last sections of the book are collections of magic items and monster stats designed for 5th edition. The magic items are at least easily converted to other systems. The cover image is fun and colourful, but there is no other art in the book aside from the maps. Overall, I am undecided about the book's utility. There are some very good ideas here, and a lot of things that I have not considered previously. There are so many nuggets of information that will help with realistic dungeon design, and for these reasons I would recommend the book. But it is not well suited as a reference book, and perhaps the information could have been optimised for use in quick dungeon generation. Still, reading through this book will broaden the options for most DMs. The example layers are imaginative and showcase a selection of different defense tactics and how they would differ between various monster types, but as presented, these would not be very usable in game, though I do really like the urban layers and the dragon layers. The quality of the hardback itself is fair, 
My copy is slightly damaged after one read, but that damage is minor and may not be representative of all printings. Overall, this book contains very good information, but presented in perhaps too formal a manner. Still, I did enjoy How to Defend Your Lair, and will probably return to it when designing lairs intended to be effectively defended against invading PCs. The information within is best applied to big boss lairs rather than every single dungeon one may design. I imagine that using the information here will instantly increase the deadliness of any campaign, so expect disgruntled players. How to Defend Your Lair can be purchased from Amazon from about £15 or $20. If you'd like to support this channel, you can pick up one of my books at DriveThruRPG, which is linked in the description. And as always, thanks for listening.